Hi, this is Benny with Kala, and today we're going to show you how you can string up your U bass. Um, you have to remember that these strings are different materials, so they do stretch out, and that also means they're a little harder to work with sometimes. So as you can see here, um, the E string is being put through and the A string. What we're saying is we want is it's it's good to have the E string go past the post about two inches of excess and the A string about four inches of excess. So um, that will allow it to give it, people think that might be too much, but it's not, these strings stretch out and they will wear in. Now the real trick is uh, stringing up the D and the G string. And we do a special tie, as you see that um, Lewis is performing here, um, a special tie and a knot that uh, will not allow the string to move through the post. Um, these these uh, strings are, are, are thinner, so they're a little bit easier to go ahead and detune on you in the middle of a string up. So as you can see the process here, around the post, up the middle, uh, back, back around the opposite way, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that excess string and you're gonna tuck it underneath, underneath the string and you're just gonna tug on it. And what that's gonna do is gonna uh, create a knot and a nice tie so the string will not move on you. Don't forget to tug on that string as you see Lewis is doing. He gives it a nice little tug once he's, got, once he's gotten the, the string tied. Uh, he does a nice little tug to help wear the strings in and, and, and get them a nice stretch because they will stretch. Uh, they do take time to kind of to, to wear in and, and kind of find its, its comfort zone. So you're going to use the exact same method on the G string just as you did on the D with that special tie around the post up the middle, back around, and then underneath the string, and then with a nice tug, that will uh, lock it in and, and, and have a nice knot so it won't move on you. And don't forget about stretching those strings out, that's very important. So one last step, and that is to clip the strings. You want to leave about an, an, uh, an inch of excess on all of uh, the strings. Uh, makes it look really nice and neat. And remember that they will stretch, so it, this isn't necessarily the final uh, tune that you will do. You might have to tune it once more when you receive the bass. But once you have them looking nice, that's all you need. So go ahead and start thumping and enjoy your U bass.